What's new this month at Rogers Railroad Junction? We're moving mountains with Genesis MT4 class mountain types of the mighty Southern Pacific. Built by the SP in their very own shops, these 482s started out life looking somewhat anemic in all honesty. But after their boilers were crowned with skyline casings, they took on a broad-shouldered profile that made them favorites of train crews and the public alike. Sadly, none of these magnificent machines survive today. But Genesis has done them justice with such intricate details as illuminated number boards, Rule 17 compliant dimmable headlight, fully detailed backhead, separately applied plumbing, independently sprung drive wheels, and a Tsunami sound equipped decoder with dual mode and back EMF control. Then we have Broadway Limited with Alco RSD-15s. Known affectionately as alligators for their conspicuously long noses, RSD-15s were regarded as some of the most versatile products ever built by the American Locomotive Company, serving as long haulers, road switchers, and even as yard goats. 75 examples of this 2400 horsepower jack of all trades were built throughout the second half of the 1950s. Delivered by Broadway with their revolutionary Paragon 3 digital control system, operating gang planks, freestanding grab irons, and even a simulated Alco builder's plate are all featured. It even runs great on either code 83 or 100 rail. And also in the motive power department, Atlas is adding to their trainman line with GP39-2s. Essentially a turbocharged version of the GP38, early GP39 suffered from problems with reliability and only 23 examples were sold. But the introduction of this Dash 2 version solved those problems, and with superior fuel economy when compared to the GP38, sales figures jumped to nearly 240 units. Built by Atlas to feature a die-cast frame, 5-pole skew-wound motor, a detailed cab, and a QSI Quantum Digital Command and Control System. Rolling on over to Roundhouse, there's two new items this month, starting off with Airman type passenger cars. Widely viewed as the transition point between heavyweight cars of the 1920s and 1930s streamliners, Harrimans were symbolic of the interwar period. Available in configurations of coach, diner, combine, and railway post office. And on deck from Roundhouse, there's 50-foot high cube box cars. Typically used as a means of shipping oversized manufactured goods such as auto parts and major household appliances, these cars feature paint schemes with re-stenciled reporting marks, liveries from railroads that no longer exist, and other railroads that never existed in the first place. Yeah, that plan went well. All Roundhouse products feature machined metal wheels, knuckle couplers, and optimized weighting. Then there's KD, who's also in a boxy sort of mood with 40 and 50 foot PS1 boxcars. Stalwarts of the post-war era, these cars formed the backbone of America's freight fleet up until the introduction of containerized shipping in the 1980s. Featuring see-through roof walks and platforms, 
working cushion draft gear in some cases, full underbody detail, freestanding ladders, operating doors, and metal wheels and couplers. And adding to our selection of rectangular rolling stock or emergency box cars from Intermountain. Built during the early days of World War II when traffic levels surged and the depression disappeared almost overnight, these cars featured steel frames and bracing with wood side panels. Their construction designed to be fast, cheap, and to make sparing use of strategically important materials. Overall, they pair well with fish belly flat cars, also from Inner Mountain. Notable for their extra deep underframes, these reinforced open platform cars could haul any oversized and or overweight load. Inner Mountain cars come with RP25 metal wheels, KD couplers, wire grab irons, air hoses, and optimized weighting. And finally, we circle back to Genesis with a new run of SD70 Aces in flashy Spirit of Union Pacific livery. Honoring America's armed forces and the men and women who fill their ranks, UP first debuted this honorific paint scheme in October of last year. A model version quickly followed and sold out just as quickly. But now it's back thanks to Athern with design elements honoring the Coast Guard, Navy, Army and Marines, and a final element honoring prisoners and those deemed missing in action. But just like the first production run, these are going fast too. So come on in and grab yours today. And while you're here, you can check out everything else that's new in our store here at Rogers Railroad Junction today.